Hey guys, I want to tell you why you need to start acting a little bit more like a child. Stick around and I'll explain why. So something that's been uh, it's been on my mind for a little while now, and I feel like it's something that's going to really benefit every single one of us, is the fact that we forget to be a child sometimes. And, and it reminded me of this story because I kind of was thinking back in my past and what I should talk about today and, and actually there was a thing where I was around at a friend's house and their child, who was about two years old, picked up a remote for um, my friend and the way they did it was they bent at the knees, they kept the back straight, it was amazing and they gave the remote to their dad and I was like, I mean that's perfect form right, that's just incredible, whereas adults we learn bad behaviours and we do things because it's easy and we're lazy so we bend down at the waist and we know we shouldn't but we do it and it got me to thinking about more things that we do like when you're a child because a child doesn't care right so a, car, a child will only eat just as much as it needs it won't overfill itself whereas a, an adult we will a child wears like whatever it wants to clothing wise you know it might see it with wellington boots and a tutu but it just doesn't care a child just does not care it's just whatever it wants to wear you know, they dance and they sing and they have fun and they're just, they're, they're their own person. They get up and they get excited. They, they sleep just enough and they get excited about the day ahead. And truly, they really do get excited about everything. If you can build that encouragement into a child, they get excited. And we forget to do these things as adults. You know, we become too old to dance. We sleep too much. We eat far too much, we wear what we kind of feel is comfortable and fits in with everybody else and we don't get excited about things we should get excited about. The other thing about kids is that they embrace each other and they love each other and they don't care about what sex you are or what race you are or who you are or what kind of skin you've got, they do not care and then that get bred into a lot of people as well. I feel like society pumps us full of all of this nonsense, this what we should be, what we should be like, and who we should be like, and we should follow these trends. But kids don't get that influence. So imagine what it would be like if we still felt like kids. Imagine it would be great, wouldn't it? Because we'd only eat enough that we wanted to eat. We would sleep just the right amount. We'd dance and sing everywhere and be happy and turn cardboard boxes into the most amazing imagination creations ever. We'd get excited about everything. You know, if somebody told us we were going on a journey, we'd be like, what, we're going on a journey? That's incredible. Yes, I can't wait. Think of all the things we're going to see. But because life dulls us down, we kind of don't get excited about those things. We think, oh, I've got to go on another journey. But we need to start getting excited again about these simple things, guys. So there's a couple of things I want to run through with you that you can start doing right now, which are going to help you to reaffirm and refind that child in you. First one, remember how amazing you are. Remember, because we forget this, we get told the negativity of this. So just remember and start self having self-affirmations about how good you are. Tell yourself how good you are in the mirror. Start thinking about how amazing your body is and how amazing you are and how beautiful you are as a human. Remember how special you are as well, guys, because you are the rarest thing on the earth. There is no one else that is exactly the same as you. Your DNA is different to everybody else's. There is also one in 400 trillion percent chance of you being born. And you made that one person. You made that. You, you are that creation. It's so simple when you think about it. But it really works. Self-appreciation. Then start thinking about affirmations, guys. And I wouldn't say this if you didn't think it worked because Trust me, I've come from a place of not being great to now being like the person you see here is me all the time. I'm really positive all the time. And affirmations really work. The reason they work is because your subconscious is constantly listening. So if you look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, hey, good looking, how's it going? And then start to feed back on yourself. Say things to yourself. I'm going to have a really good day today. I'm going to be really positive today. I'm going to have an amazing day where I achieve great things. I'm going to get that project done. I'm going to go out and do some fitness. I'm going to eat less today. I'm going to really catch up on that thing I should be doing. Tell yourself these things. This is called priming. And I cannot tell you how important this is. Prime your day. Do fun stuff. 
This is something that we all get a little bit lost in, guys. Personally, I make sure that my day is full of fun. I don't, I try and negate all the things I don't like doing. I try and get those done first thing in the morning just so they're done, so the rest of the day is built out for fun. Do things that are gonna challenge you and you're gonna excited about, you know? Get out and go out in a, um, on a canoe maybe, or go for a walk and go somewhere different. Go rock climbing when we're allowed to. Join a gym, there's so much stuff. You can do some painting or play with, I don't know, tennis or something like that. Just anything that you can think of because we need to start sparking up our imaginations again, guys. This is a big one. Stop comparing yourself to people. As I said before, guys, there's no one in the world that is you. You are you. You cannot compare yourself to somebody else because they're not you. You are you. They are somebody else. They're following their dreams. Their dreams are not your dreams. Your dreams are your dreams. And it just freaks me out when I see people who go, oh, I wish I was like them. No, you don't wish you were like them, you're you. If you want to have some of their attributes, start aiming towards those attributes. Start putting things in motion that are gonna get you to that place. If you wish you had a six pack, start thinking about what it is that's gonna get you there. Don't compare yourself to that person. That person's on a different journey. You are an amazing human being. You're probably the most beautiful person in the world, but you just need to keep telling yourself it, guys. Forgive yourself. I can't express how important this is that we forgive ourselves for the mistakes that we make. We hold grudges against ourselves and we, we say things to ourselves and we subconsciously say things to ourselves as well. And we say things like, oh, I'm always doing this. Oh, I'm always like that. Oh, that's just me all over, or I can't do that. Oh, it doesn't matter, guys. Forgive yourself. Be more about who you are. Love yourself for who you are. If you're a little bit overweight and you need to lose some weight, don't worry about it. Just put the wheels in action to get that sorted out. If you're not quite where you want to be academically, put the wheels in motion, sort it out. You're not where you want to be in your career. Put the wheels in motion and get it sorted because it doesn't matter guys because you just need to think stop holding yourself back and just start thinking oh i'm all right you know i'm okay and the last one guys is just give some love start loving each other start loving everybody start caring about people start just not seeing what people who they are see them for who they are it's just ridiculous that we have this world that we live in where People that hate people because of their skin colour or their, what they look like or because they've got a Mohican or because of the clothes they wear or because of their orientation. Let people be people. It's as simple as that, guys. I think we're all humans. We're not in a race. We're not the human race. We're all people. We're all for the same thing. We need to start loving each other. But one of the things that's really important about love is love yourself. You are amazing. You just need to hear it more often. And if you keep telling yourself it, you're going to win, guys. So I want you to start acting a bit more like a child. Do silly stuff. Just be creative. Be imaginative. Sleep a little bit like you need to sleep, not when you want to sleep. Wear the clothes you want to wear. Express yourself. You are incredible. And remember that statistic I gave you that you had a 1 in 400 trillion chance of being here right now, and you're here. Don't waste it chasing somebody else's dream. Chase your own. As always, guys, be daring. Be you. Be all you can be. Be somebody who loves themselves and loves everybody around them and be the person who isn't afraid to be a child again. Because that is the mindset peacocking way. Hey guys, thanks for hanging around and watching the whole video. Really hope you got something from it. I do mean it when you should start thinking about acting a little bit more like a child. Obviously, you need to not affect anyone else as always. But if you did enjoy this, if you could give it a little like, a comment and a share, it'd be amazing. Even better would be if you subscribed and pressed that little bell. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you stay safe. Speak soon.